नाथ ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुर मृत तस्म श्री गुरव नम गौरव गौरचंद्रयाधिकर कृष्णय कृष्ण भक्त तद्भक्त नमो नम वी आर स्टील सींग सम ऑफ दि आलवा एंड टुडे वी विल स्पीक अबाउट कूल शिखा आलवा ही वॉज अ किंग इन केरला near the place which is called Trivandrum today of course um the real ruler of kerala is ananta padmanabha the lying vishnu in trivandrum and so uh kulashika alva he was very much a devotee of this vishnu and he was absorbed in vatsalya prem he was absorbed in uh, rasa of uh dasharat maharaj uh wanting to protect ram his deities were ram and krishna and so he when he was hearing ramayan he was so absorbed in the mood of dasharat that when he heard that his son was fighting some rakshasa then he said please bring my army i'm going to support uh my son and then he called for his army but the minister they come and down they say okay <clears throat> this is just a a story ramayan and this has happened long time ago and everything is okay now so then they decided not to recite any more passage of the ramayan but one day a sadhu came by and he still didn't know that kulashika alva he was in that mood so he was reciting how ravana kidnap sita and one uh, kulashika alva he heard this he became furious he said now nah, bring my army and he actually got <clears throat> all his army and they went into the sea and he was going into the sea he had <coughs> water up to his neck and <coughs> he couldn't proceed anymore <coughs> and ram he came and he said oh this is okay don't worry i am okay please go back to your kingdom so this is was the mood of a uh, kula shikha and he was also absorbed in the divinity of krishna he wrote this beautiful uh book called mukunda mala stotram it is the mala it is the uh garland of uh stotram of prayers offered to mukunda um so there are 30 or more verse in this uh book uh, we cannot read them all but just to get a taste the first verse is like the shri baraba beti barade ti padaya pareti bhakta priye ti bavaluntana kovideti na teti naga shayane ti jagan nivaseti alapimam pratidinam kurumam mukunda o mukunda my lord please let me become a constant reciter of your names addressing you as shri balaba he was dear to lakshmi Barada the best hour of benediction Dayapara he was causeless causelessly merciful Bhakti Priya he was very dear to his devotees Bavaluntana Kovida he was expert at plundering the status quo of repeated birth and death Nat the supreme lord Jagan Nivas the result of the cosmos and Nagashayana the lord who lies down on the serpent bed So he has so many names God has so many names he had names that he that qualified his activities qualified his attributes the second verse is like this jayatu jayatu devo devaki nanda noyam jayatu jayatu krishno vrishni bamsha pradipa jayatu jayatu mega shamala ko malango jayatu jayatu prithvi bharana sho mukunda all glories to this person supreme person known as the son of shrimati devaki devi all glories to lord shri krishna the brilliant light of the vrishni dynasty all glories to the supreme personality of godhead the you of whose soft body resemble the blackish color of a new cloud 
All glories to Lord Mukunda will remove the burden of the earth. So Srila Prabhupada, he actually uh, wrote commentaries on the first six verses of this Mukunda Malastotram. And he's saying in his purport that Vasudev and Devaki are very confidential devotees of the Lord in the mood of parental love. Even greater than them are Nanda and Yashoda, his foster parents in Vrindavan. The Lord takes great pleasure in being addressed as Devaki Nandan, Yashoda Nandan, Janaki Nat, the husband of Janaki, and so on. The pleasure one gives the Lord by addressing him by such names is many, many times greater than the pleasure he enjoys when he is addressed as the Supreme Father, the greatest of the great Parameshwara, or anything of that nature which indicate volumes of awe and veneration. So, when you call Krishna by the name of his devotees like Yashoda, like Nanda Baba, like uh, the uh, uh, Gopi of Vrindavan, then he is very, very much pleased. This is the meaning. O Lord Mukunda, I bow down my head to your Lordship and respectfully ask you to fulfill this one desire of mine, that in each of my future birth, I will, by your Lordship's mercy, always remember and never forget your lotus feet. This is the prayer of every devotee, that never to forget the Lord at any moment. Huh? What to speak in this life? In all the coming lives, never to forget Him. This is the devotee. Never forget and always remember the Lord. O Lord Hari, it is not to be saved from the dualities of material existence or the grim tribulation of the Kumbhikpaka hell that I pray to your lotus feet. Nor is my purpose to enjoy the soft-skinned beautiful woman who reside in the garden of heaven. I pray to your lotus feet only so that I may remember you alone in the core of my heart, birth after birth. Srila Prabhupada explained how this hell called Kumbi Paka, uh, Kumbi means pot and Paka means boiling. So if a person is put into a pot of oil and the pot is set to boiling, he will have some idea of the suffering of the Kumbi Paka hell. But the, here, Kula Shekhar Alva is praying, I don't even care for this. You may send me to this hell where I am boiled in oil, burning oil. I don't care. All I want is to remember you. Huh? There's a story of a devotee who is actually going to hell. This is an nectar of devotion. And somehow he's praying to the Lord. He has this ability. And so even hell can become heaven if one remembers the Lord. Hmm? And Prabhupada once he said to Brahmananda, he said, next life I'm going to go to Patala. Of course we know that he's not going to Patala because of his activities. I am going to Patala to preach to the demons, he said. And he asked Brahmananda, do you want to come with me? So if you know Srila Prabhupada, if you have known him a little bit, then you will immediately say yes. Because sometimes we were sent out distributing books on his behalf in places that look like hell. Like I told a few other devotees I remember in 79, where I was with Tribhuvanath and Parmapani and Hunkara Prabhu and so many other devotees in Beirut during the war. And we were selling Arabic Gita. But because we were doing such a service, then this doesn't seem like hell. Sometimes we will see bomb falling, exploding everywhere. And if, even if we were afraid, still this is glorious because it is Seva. A pure devotee like King Kurashika refused to associate even with beautiful, soft-skinned women. There are places in heaven where women are always beautiful, they smell um, uh, more, uh, the fragrance of their body is even more um, enchanting than any kind of perfume you can purchase on this planet. And uh, there's no sin. 
There's no sinful activities, having sensual enjoyment. But the devotees doesn't care for this Garden of Eden. He doesn't want this. All he wants is to remember the Lord. Oh my Lord, I have no attachment for religiosity or for accumulating wealth or for sense, for sense enjoyment. Let this come as they inevitably must in accordance with my past deeds. But I do pray for this most cherished boon. Birth after birth, let me render unflinching devotional service unto your lotus feet. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also he prays Nadanam, Najanam na Sundarim, Kabitam Maja Gadisha Kamaye, Mama Janmana Janmanishware, Bhavatat Bhakti Ahetu Kitwaye, Janmana Janmana, birth after birth. I don't want any wealth. I don't want any followers. I don't want any beautiful woman. All I want is birth after birth. Be your servant. Be absorbed in your lotus feet. O Lord, killer of the demon Naraka, let me reside either in the realm of the demigods, in the world of human beings, or in hell, as you please. I only pray that at the point of death I may remember your two lotus feet whose beauty defies that of the lotus growing in a shut out season. Anyone who dies thinking of Krishna goes to uh, the abode of Krishna. This is what he says. Janma karma shame divyam me bam yoveti tatpata. Tyaktva deham punarjanma neiti ma neiti sorjana. Tyaktva, giving up the body. Tyaktva deham. Nai iti puna. No more birth in this material world. Of course, we have to think of him all the time. Not only think at the time of death, I will think of him. If you never think of him during this lifetime, how can you think of him when you die? And most importantly, we want to think of him with love. If we think of him because we want to be saved from this material world, then maybe we will be saved, but we may not obtain this rare prema. Oh, foolish mind. Now nah, Kulashika is praying to his mind. Like Shirara Raguna Das Goswami in Manashiksha, O oh, foolish mind, stop your fearful fretting about the extensive torments imposed by Yamaraj. How can your enemies, the sinful reactions you have accrued, even touch you? After all, is your master not the Supreme Lord, the husband of Goddess Shri? Cast aside all hesitations and concentrate your thoughts on Lord Narayan. Whom one very easily attains through devotional service. What can that despairer of the whole world's troubles not do for his own servant? Don't be afraid. This is what Jesus is saying in the Bible to his disciple repeatedly. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Everything is being taken care of. There's no reason to fear. Krishna will protect you. But most importantly, Krishna will make you love Him. Dear mind, huh? Kulishika Alva is still praying to his mind. Dear mind, do not bewilder yourself by anxiously thinking, how can I cross this fathomless and impassable ocean of material existence? There is one who can save you. Devotion. Devotion can save you. If you offer her... To the lotus eye Lord, the killer of Narakusura, she will carry you across this ocean without fail. This is a very beautiful verse in the Bhagavatam where it says that the ocean of material existence, even though uh, um, very vast, very great, is reduced to uh, the, um, the imprint of a cow's um, footing. Uh, the water that falls in this imprint of the of his of his uh, uh, foot this is the material world for a devotee and Prabhupada always quote this verse that actually ends like this parama padam yad vipadam natesham parama padam means there's every step there's danger uh, but we should uh, uh, try to go to the parama padam which is the highest goal uh, om tad vishnu paramam padam and this Bhavatsa uh, Padam, this material existence will be reduced to a calf uh, 
hoof prints. O Lord of the three worlds, we are drowning in the vast ocean of samsara, which is filled with waters material hankering by many ways of illusion. Whipped up by the winds of lust, we are whirlpool of wives and with vast schools of sharks and other sea monsters who are uh, our sons and brothers, O giver of all benediction, please grant me a place at the boat of devotion at your lotus feet. So King Kulashikar is always praying, knowing that actually he can be saved only by Vishnu. Maj Janmana Palamidam Maduket Tabare Mat Prataraniya Madanugraha Esha Eva Twat Britya Britya Parisharaka Britya Britya Britasya Britya Itimam Smaralokanata. Here there's some poetry in the words repetition of Britya meaning servant. O Lord, enemy of Madhu and Ketaba. Uh, the perfection of my life and the most cherished mercy you can show me will be that I, you consider me the servant of 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 the servant of, the servant of your servant. Gopi uh, para das das anu das. This is the prayer. Uh, we are all servant of everyone else. Tvat britya britya parisharako britya britya britasya britya. It's not only pleasing poetry, it also describes how the parampara works. That uh, I have my spiritual master who serve his spiritual master, who serve his spiritual master, who serve his spiritual master. And um, I'm finishing on this verse, which Prabhupada was singing many times. Krishna Twadiya Pada Pankaja Panjarantam Adjeva Me Vishatume Manasarajahamsa Prana prayanam kapapata vite kanta varodana vidos maranam kutaste. O Lord Krishna, at this moment let the royal swan of my mind enter the tangled stems of your lotus feet. How would it be possible for me to remember you at the time of death when my throat will be choked up with mucus bile and air? May I die now, he is saying. Now I am in good health. May I die now? So I can, my, the swan, they like to put their long neck around the stem of the lotus, the lotus uh, stem. Uh, and they play like this. So he said, my mind is like a swan. And he wants to go around your feet in the same way. So this is uh, Mukunda Malastotram. Not all the verses, some of the verses, just to give you an idea of... Kula shika alva bansha kalpa tarubya cha kripa sindhu vya iva cha patitanam pavanibyo vashtavibyo namo namaha.